Hi guys, Jimmy Flick here for Apex Racing Academy. This is our Okayama track guide for the Mercedes AMG GT4 for week one of the Falcon Tire Sports Car Challenge. As well as these track guides, we're also giving away our Mercedes AMG GT4 data pack for free this season, featuring qualifying and race setups, uh, a Tuesday night group coaching session, and then as well, uh, we also provide the B-Lap and O-Lap reference lap files uh, on iRacing, and as well as the replay file. All you need to do is go on to apexracingac.com a link in the description below where you can uh, put in your email to get the data pack for zero cost. In regards to Akiyama, uh, it's a really tricky circuit to get right because of the low uh, grip that the track yields. Uh, in terms of the layout, it's pretty simple and straightforward, uh, but because of the sort of big front engine that we've got in the Mercedes, uh, traction is at a premium here, so being careful with your right foot is probably the most important part of the entire lap. So let's get into the hot lap. Another reminder guys that you can get this season's Mercedes AMG GT4 data pack for free over at apexrecentac.com or by following the link in the description below. So we'll get stuck in uh, with the run down to turn one. It's a pretty short run. And we'll just pause it here using the 100 board sort of as a reference and once we clear it then we can get onto the brakes. Smooth and strong onto the brake down at the third and trying to turn in nice and early and picking up the white line if at all possible on the way through. It's not the easiest thing to do in the world but we do try our best. Uh, once the car is settled on the inside then we can pick up the throttle nice and smooth and just let the car arc out towards the outside white line like so. Don't need to get super greedy on the way out here um, because we need to bring the car hard over to the right hand side for turn two and just before the change uh, in uh, sort of room that we've got to work with uh, the white line here on the right hand side then we'll sort of flick the car in just a small little touch of brake feed the car in towards the white line and once there then we can pick up the throttle nice and smooth just make sure not to have the back end step out and then from here walk the car out towards the outside curb use all of the runoff and the extra sort of curbing there available to you and then we're flat out through the sort of moss s here before we get towards outward curve and again breaking just ever so slightly after the 100 board we just lost sight of that um, with the a pillar there strong braking down into second gear this time nice early turn in so we can pick up the white line and the camber on the inside trail the car in nice and gentle on the brakes uh, before picking up the throttle on the white line and be as aggressive with that as we can. Making sure that the car though is stable once we commit to full throttle, otherwise the back end's gonna slip and slide everywhere and then that's a bad time. From here, we can just walk the car out towards the outside white line once again, up into third. The car will try and bite and grab and snap a little bit on the way out, but um, it is generally uh, fairly stable uh, on the way through. Once you've got the power down, it's generally not too bad. So down the long back straight, we'll grab fifth gear, just keep the car over to the left hand side and spot the 100 board. And we're gonna brake just before it. Um, like I can see I've just come off the throttle there, onto the brake, 
Strong peak pressure there, upwards of 90%, down into second and then first gear. Turning in nice and early, use the camber on the inside here and sort of let the car hook itself around here. Send nice and tight to the white line. Once the front end tucks back in, then we can pick up the throttle and accelerate it through. Uh, grab second gear, bring the car over to the right hand side as much as possible. And then as soon as we feel like we need to flick the car left and off the throttle, small touch of brake just to keep the weight over the front axle, take as much curb off the inside as we can, pick up the throttle on the way through to preserve the momentum. And then once the car stabilizes uh, through the compression there, commit to full throttle, run the car out as wide as we dare, um, all the way out, left side wheels touching the white line, up into third, and then just before uh, the curb reappears on the right hand side here, then we'll want to get down uh, or sorry, we'll leave the car in third. We can grab second, but third um, is a little bit better for stability. So, picking up the inside white line. Not too much curb. The front end can push a little wide here, so we do want to try and avoid that. Um, but a lot of the corners around this lap are quite nicely cambered, so it is sort of one of the ones that are um, a little bit more difficult to get right. Um, the back end can also then try to step out on the way out. Um, it's a long loaded corner, you've gone through a, a long loaded left hander before that, um, so the right rear wheels sort of scream at you a little bit. Use absolutely everything you can on exit here, in fact I went a fraction wide but no real harm done there, I was able to keep it pinned and lose absolutely nothing on the way through. So then we're coming up towards the final sector. Uh, the 50 board as a reference here for the first of these uh, sort of switch back hairpins down into second gear, turning in again nice and early, and then bleeding off the brake. The back end can sort of start to float and step out here a little bit on the way in, so just do be mindful of that. And we'll pick up uh, the throttle in second. Uh, technically this probably could be a first gear corner, but a second will give us superior traction, so uh, that's going to be the order of the day here. Tracking out, not super wide here, we do want to open up the following right-handed hairpin here, um, but uh, there's no need to go like the entire way across. Uh, from here, it's again a small dab of brake and sort of a long, slow trail brake, trying to pick up the white line on the inside here. Again, I do try and avoid the inside curb. It's just gonna hinder the ability uh, to get the power down and uh, get traction uh, to the rear axle. Once again, as, as soon as the front end tucks back in, as soon as you feel like, okay, right, the front's biting, then we'll pick up the throttle again in second gear. Nice and smooth. And this one we do need to be fairly patient with, even uh, taking into consideration the low sort of minimum speed that we had through the apex of the corner. Uh, so yeah, it, it's a little bit of a tricky one. Uh, we do need to be careful with our right foot through here, otherwise the back end will step out, we engage the TC, and then that makes us very slow off the corner. Make sure to use the, all of the curbing available to you on the way out, and then the final couple of corners are not too bad actually in this thing. So we'll turn in uh, just past the sort of Marshall Hutton left hand side or basically as soon as we can see the curb and the apex there on the inside. Once we've loaded the left side wheels, bleed out of the throttle uh, nice and smooth, nice and gentle. And taking all of the curb on the inside here. Basically, I'm trying to get the left front to get as close to the white line here on the inside as possible. The Mercedes is very good over the curbs and so can take it. Once we uh, get through uh, the apex of the corner, back to full throttle, and then it's a very short run towards the final corner. So we'll roll it through. Just as the curbing here ends on the left-hand side, uh, we're gonna hit the brakes. We're gonna leave the car in third gear. You could grab second, but I think third is just slightly better, um, but not by much. So again, gentle on the brake in terms of transitioning the weight forward, bleeding off, trying to pick up the white line, and then once there, pick up the throttle. Nice and smooth. Again, uh, the back end can try and step out here, and in this case, it did ever so slightly, but no major harm done once again. Once we commit to full throttle, it's super important not to let go of it, so just do be patient if you feel like you haven't got the rotation uh, and the front end exactly where you need it to. Uh, on exit, we can use everything on the way out here. You can skim the gravel if you wish. It's not the end of the world if you do. And then from here, it's a straightforward run to the line for a lap of Okayama in the Mercedes AMG GT4. Thanks ever so much for watching. Uh, all of the details in terms of uh, 
getting access to this free data pack available in the description below, uh, where you can also find access to the Discord server um, where the group coaching will take place. So for free, you're able to access uh, what we have available in terms of the car uh, for the data pack. So that's BLAP, OLAP files, replay, uh, the setups, both qualifying and race trim, uh, and uh, these track guides as well. Uh, so thanks very much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.